you buy yourself a four gigabyte flash memory, you've actually probably got a six gigabyte flash memory. When you manufacture them, the silicon process will lead to certain of the transistors just not working. And of course, we can remap those blocks and just not use them. So we map out some of the drives and we have a list of bad blocks. But we also have a bit of overhead because that allows us to say, yes, you have a four gigabyte drive. We can fill it up. If someone has a disk that's at capacity and they think they're overwriting the same file, they don't want the performance to suddenly drop to the array's performance. So there's usually a bit more memory on there than you think. So we can take a burst of writes. And of course, the microcontroller needs to be able to see all of that, and it does all this mapping. Um, and it's not uncommon that for there to be a hidden uh, uh, command sequence to the microcontroller that it recognises for debug purposes, because in the factory you'll want to test it. So sometimes you can get at the test interfaces of these microcontrollers and read the whole contents of the memory quite easily. Uh, or the other thing is you go in and you, you physically extract the memory and you put it in another device that, that can actually do that. But um, you know, debug and test modes for these little microcontrollers, the sort of features that are not widely advertised in the user guides for these devices, but um, I'm sure if you went to a manufacturer and asked them nicely, and especially if you turn up with a warrant, you may well find that uh, you'd get that information as how to access that.